Hello and welcome to my channel. Here we have a drawing of an F-15. It's a US fighter plane. It was done mostly in graphite. I used Stadler and Kohinoor graphite pencils. Later I also used a touch of a black colored pencil for some of the dark details. Let me show you how it was done. I'm going to start with a light sketch with a 2H pencil and the paper is 9 times 12 inches or uh, rather 9 times 11 inches or so I think. Anyway, uh, like I said it's going to be an F-15 this time. Uh, the aircraft is somewhat similar in terms of its shape to a MiG-29 that I did last time. There are some similarities which I'm probably going to talk about a little bit later but uh, let me just say a few words about what I'm doing right now. I'm shading the background and uh, I decided to create a, a very even uh, looking background with a slow uh, with a smooth transition from slightly darker value at the top and a lighter value at the bottom so I wanted it to look like um, clear sky with no clouds and I wanted to be able to focus on the airplane and some parts of the aircraft will be lighter than the background so I shaded the background to a sufficient degree so that these uh, so that the light side of the of the airplane would stand out against the background after i laid down some some uh, graphite using mostly hb and uh, and b2 graphite pencils i started blending that with a q tip and later with some brushes and some other stuff but uh, I think this part was a little bit tedious because in order to uh, achieve a really smooth looking background uh, this is actually not that easy it takes quite a bit of time it takes a lot of refining and blending um, maybe uh, it would have been somewhat easier if I had tried to use uh, graphite powder but in my experience it doesn't work quite as well because uh, it's difficult to control the amount of value. Another thing that you'll see me often doing is rotating the paper. That's because uh, I found, found it very difficult to work under certain angles while recording. And that's one of the problems when drawing these things that require uh, a, little bit of, a little bit more accuracy. And uh, when you have to draw straight or straighter lines than usual even though I don't really use any rulers or anything of a sort I just uh, use freehand and try to make it look as clean and as accurate as possible so like I said I made the upper part of the paper a little bit darker like the sky is getting a little bit lighter gradually towards the bottom but it's going to be a clear sky with uh, virtually no clouds and now I'm going to move on to the cockpit and here I zoomed in a little bit so that you can see some of the detail even though honestly I couldn't really make out too much of the detail myself and I'm just trying to draw something that kind of looks like a pilot inside the cockpit and I'm using an 8B pencil for this because there are a lot of darker details here. I'm also going to be using this HB uh, graphite pencil for some of the lighter details and uh, I'm, I'm going to be shading the cockpit so, so that I have this gentle transition and so that it looks uh, transparent so that it looks like it's actually made out of glass and I was careful to shade around the pilot's helmet so that it stands out because it's a lighter color. Also in the front part of the cockpit I drew some details where the uh, panels are and the head-up display and things like that. So I just made some suggestions of some equipment inside the cockpit even though I don't, I don't need to know all, the, all of the details and I don't need to try to render 
all of those details. So now I'm drawing the uh, aircraft's nose and doing a little bit of shading. And because it's a conical round shape, I'm going to have to shade it in such a manner so that uh, uh, so that the viewer can feel uh, that this is uh, a conical shape. And uh, I'm going to shade the lower part of that nose a little bit darker, and the upper part is going to be lighter because the light source is coming from above naturally. So in general, the lower part. Uh, the lower side of every aircraft is going to be darker unless the aircraft is flying upside down of course the footage went a little bit blurry here but I'm hoping that it will improve so now I'm drawing these large air intakes um, that the F-15 has and then I'm going to be moving on to the wings even though you can't really see much of the wings from this angle. Now here I have a little bit of the shadow from these air intakes and I'm drawing the shadow on the lower part of that nose and around the cabin. So like I said in terms of shape uh, the F-15 is kind of similar to MiG-29. There are some differences but the similarities are the general uh, the general placement, uh, I guess, uh, between the main parts, um, the wings are of a fairly similar shape with some minor differences and uh, it also has a double vertical fin or a, dub a double vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizers are kind of set further back the way they are on MiG-29 and uh, the the engines and the intakes are positioned in a similar manner on MiG-29 I believe they are a little bit lower in comparison to the rest of the uh, to the fuselage and probably the major difference between the F-15 and the MiG-29 is the fact that on MiG-29 the, uh, the fuselage kind of merges with the wings uh, because of those large uh, root extensions on the wings. Other than that, like I said, um, the F-15 does look a little bit similar to a MiG-29, even though I, I'm not really sure about the dimensions, but I, I do think that uh, F-15s are larger aircraft uh, than MiG-29s. Uh, a MiG-29 is not a very large fighter at all especially not in comparison to such um, such large aircraft as uh, SU-27, MiG-31, uh, F-14 and some others in spite of the fact that it's a twin engine aircraft so I think uh, the F-15 is slightly larger and it was meant as an air superiority fighter uh, it's now probably considered obsolete or obsolescent even though there have been many modifications but the US have been switching to different types of airplanes and uh, you probably know this uh, if you're interested in airplanes but I'm not really going to talk about that too much I'm mostly interested in the artistic aspect of it and my sketch is not very accurate I'm just doing the best I can drawing in freehand, I just want to capture the general shape of this beautiful aircraft and draw some nice shadows and probably uh, hopefully achieve some nice uh, nice range of value and nice contrasts. Another thing that's, uh, that I'm trying to do as you can see is I'm using my pencil eraser to try to enhance that contrast between the background and the aircraft so I tried my best to clean up that, uh, that upper edge of the aircraft so that the aircraft aircraft would stand out but because I'm working in graphite everything feels kind of slower than it usually does that's one of the things why I kind of I didn't really give up drawing in graphite entirely but but graphite is a lot slower than charcoal or some other types of media and because this is mostly in graphite uh, the the building up of the darker values is kind of slow and covering larger areas is really slow and 
and for smoother blending you can see me using a brush and that's a hard bristle brush and that's one of the one of the things that can be used to blend uh, graphite very nicely another one of those disadvantages with graphite is the fact that it gives out a little bit of graphite shine it's a little bit reflective that's just the way it is there's nothing you can do about it uh, some artists suggest that you can use different types of uh, uh, shading or uh, try, try some other techniques to reduce or minimize that graphite shine I find that they don't work that well the graphite shine will always be there it's just the property of graphite as a material and there's not much you can do about it and it, it can also be distracting a little bit uh, when you're working under an artificial light depending on the angle under which the light is coming because um, because some parts of your drawing can be a little bit reflective it can be difficult to gauge the amount of value you need to put down in different parts of the drawing but graphite does have some of its advantages it's um, it's kind of clean to work with it it allows for more accurate cleaner sketches that are not quite as messy so uh, these are these large external fuel tanks and there's also a nice shadow on one of them coming from both the wing and one of the medium range missiles and I'm just uh, making some of these shadows just a little bit smoother uh, there's not that much work to be done, I just have to shade the rest of the aircraft and put down some insignia. But it's coming along nicely. I hope I captured the shape of the aircraft well enough. Uh, one of the things that uh, is always a dilemma when deciding which aircraft to draw and uh, how to draw it is uh, which reference photo to choose and which angle to choose because uh, a lot of these uh, fighter planes really have beautiful shapes and it, it can be a little bit difficult to decide from which angle you should choose to draw them here I um, here I uh, decided to draw this F-15 uh, from the side but it's leaning slightly uh, to, to, to the left but I might have easily have drawn uh, some other angle because honestly it's a very nice looking aircraft and the same goes for MiG-29 uh, which was mostly drawn from the uh, from the front and uh, now I'm adding some of these darker details and first I'm gonna do some of these uh, marks and insignia with uh, with an HB graphite pencil just to make sure that I don't make any huge mistakes that I can't really fix later but later I'm gonna go over these with a black colored pencil so I'm just gonna add a touch of black colored pencil on top of graphite for, just for some of these darkest details but 99% of it obviously was done in graphite and mostly using a combination of two pencils uh, an HB and uh, an 8B pencil but I used some other grades but mostly these two so I'm just adding in these darker bits uh, some of the insignia and uh, just reinforcing some of these shadows just to give myself a little bit more range of value and a little bit more depth uh, due to these shadows but the aircraft is mostly done I hope the uh, the background looks fairly smooth now I'm removing this protective tape and I'm uh, finishing these uh, corners and once I do that um, the drawing will be done I'm gonna sign it uh, here on the right because I feel that way the drawing will be a little bit more balanced I've already removed that tape and sprayed the drawing with some fixative the fixative does reduce the graphite shine a little bit that's why the the drawing appears just a little bit darker now 
but it also uh, appears um, to have a nice range of value. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.